All right. Welcome, everybody. Thanks for joining. I hope you can hear me now. Yeah. Um, at first, my name is Rizul Altin Kilic. I'm the product manager for IT key accounts at Retail, working 12 years for the company. And yeah, we are, let's say, heavily involved in the open compute uh, project as well as into the foundation. So we have to, as you know, delete development for the IT racks. And now we are going to be have to also delete development for the cooling. Now better? Yeah. All right. So um, yeah, I would like to talk a little bit about the door exchanger where we, let's say, uh, have also the lead development. Um, uh, my colleague John already told about the technical stuff and I would like to tell you about the functional principle. As you know, the door heat exchanger is not a rocket sign, you know. So um, I would show you the side view of the door heat exchanger. On the left, you can see the IT rack, the standard IT rack with some um, <clears throat> servers and storage inside. If you can combine it, if you combine it, you are getting the result like you like we have it there. So for the for the cooling steps, how would the rear door heat exchanger is cooling the air down? So um, the cooled air comes inside from the uh, from the facility inside of the rack. The servers are heating the air up. At the heated air is going through the heat exchanger, which is driven by water and the heat exchanger is let's say cooling down the heated air and put it away to the facility again so that means we have a homogeneous temperature in our data center and the whole data center acts as a cold air so that means therefore we don't need any containment system so as i mentioned previously the whole system uh, is a water cooled solution water based and also the connection points are possible from bottom also from the top but we are recommending to do it from the bottom in case of uh, yeah let's say leakage if you have the connection points on the top in case of that you have a leakage and all the water will fall down to your service and you have a possible damage there and also mentioned previously the whole system acts as a cold ale and we have a homogeneous temperature in our data center because the cold air is going in and the cold air is going down, going back on the rear. <clears throat> so we have a top view of the um, rear door heat exchanger. It's two uh, work principle. The classic one is the front to back airflow, and the second one is the sideways airflow. The standard one is the back front to back, and the sideways airflow. It's, it depends on what kind of switches or servers you have inside of the rack. For example. Some Cisco switches, they, uh, let's say, they are sucking the air from the left and, let's say, put it from the right. Therefore, you need, very important, some air baffles. So they are, let's say, managing the, let's say, um, the airflow. So one important thing is, you, it is not recommended from our side to mix up these two systems back to front and sideways. And also, as I mentioned previously, this what I'm showing here is a passive version. So that means there are not there are no uh, fans installed on the rack. The fans are installed on the server. Um, yeah, the water connections we using uh, fixed DN20 wife water connections. It can be done by hoses or fixed pipes from the facility. The uh, cold water is getting sourced by a, a chiller or free cooling plant. And also on the right, you can see bowel walls installed. That means if there is a case for service or maintenance, you can close the bowel valve and service or maintenance your uh, door heat exchanger if it's, if it's needed. On that diagram, we can see, okay, the uh, rear door heat exchanger is perfectly using for uh, free direct, um, for indirect free cooling till 22 degrees. So if the temperature is going higher than 22 degrees, um, the water needs to cool down um, by the chiller. Yeah, what kind of benefits we have? Definitely the passive version doesn't need any electricity. It's getting cooled down by the water. So um, the cooling output range is from 10 to 20 kW. And also, um, John mentioned previously, 
and the specification is defined that we need 90 uh, degrees hinged doors. We have 131. So this enables to you, let's say, free service and maintenance. So you have free access to that easily. If you, let's say, there is also a second door inside of the rear door heat exchanger. You can open it. And if there is a service or maintenance requir requested on the heat exchanger itself or the piping inside of the drawer, you can do it. Uh, that's not a huge problem. So as many heat exchangers, we have also decoded heat exchanger, what is also requested in the specification. So therefore, we don't have uh, no less or no dust deposit. So the important thing of these heat exchanger is, or let's say the ACS or the door hex group is, so we have to define the spec. And as well, let's say we have to follow the spec for the open rec version. For example, we have to follow the uh, physical synergies, like 600 wide, 200 millimeter high, and uh, 105 millimeter deep is the door what we have. The, specs, the specification allows you to get uh, more deeper. The door allows you the opening from 100 degrees for access and service maintenance. <clears throat> the water connection are always uh, one inch female and also TN25. We have the redundancy on the pump. So that means every door has a pump, but the main pump, the main bell valve, or let's say the main bell valve or the main pump is, let's say, on the facility side. So as well as it depends on what the customer uh, wants and is ready for paying, you know. And the water temperature inlet, uh, the water inlet temperature is 50 degrees Celsius and the water flow rate is 30 liter per minute. So as I mentioned at the beginning, so I would call for action. We are working heavily with partner, supplier, customer and also uh, competitors on that call, on that specification. So we have to definitely define it and put it onto the uh, working stream. So you can um, join with these links to the ACS project wiki. You can see the um, specification 2.0, what is created last week. And also here you find, can find the mailing list to uh, subscribe the new newsletter and to get involved in the Open Compute project. Thanks for joining. I hope you have a lot of questions. We have, I think, 10 minutes left. All right, thank you.